Welcome. Today we're going to look at my 2026 20, productivity system uh, after doing what I do, did my desk already and my Obsidian uh, setup for 2026, which will be linked at some point in the video. Can't jam them too close together, but you'll get it. I uh, we know we can start off with all that YouTube stuff. So like, subscribe if you like the video, all that stuff, or become a member. slash membership All right, let's let's dig in and let's start by looking at. The first, probably the most important uh, part of my system is task management. And you can see it here, right? I use, oh, I spelled that wrong. Uh, I use Emacs uh, and specifically org mode. So I've done a previous video on NVIM org mode, which took uh, org mode and jammed it into NeoVim. Uh, and I use NeoVim as my code editor currently. Uh, although I admit part of me starts looking at Emacs and using that. I just have a one-stop solution. Um, and the problem with NVIM org mode is that sometimes it would just mess up. It wouldn't know the headings. It just wouldn't parse things. I would just have issues. Uh, and so instead of fighting it, I, you know, I actually left because it was having trouble. And I don't know, maybe I used to do this. I don't remember at this point or just did nothing for a while. Um, but instead of uh, you know messing with it because I really wanted to come back to it uh, and figuring out NVIM org mode and figuring out why I wasn't working and submitting bugs, I just started using org mode because that's in Emacs because that's what it should that's what i should use really i probably tried emacs a few times before i thought really solidified it for me is doom emacs that's what i'm using now uh, i use doom emacs uh and i already did i guess a previous video about how to enable org and specifically org pomodoro which is what i use as well i'm not running a timer now so i don't get system sounds though so now i have a few files this is my personal file uh this is the one that i'm gonna uh, and that's the one that's all for me right so you got miscellaneous stuff uh if we go down Right, was there contributed Jellyfin, uh, read later. So this is just for time tracking with Pomodoro, wax my road chain, wax my gravel bike chain, uh, camping lantern, because I want to get a new one, uh, bullet journal, just some that stuff, LM Studio I need to look at. Um, and so I just run things through here, right? Media to purchase, music and movies. So I have a bunch of stuff in here I'd like to purchase. Um, and I just keep recording it instead of doing anything else with it, right? Baby Metal is another one. I need to add a few in here after I got the recent Metal Magazine. Um, a ginger Spirit Box, a few other things like that. This is my personal stuff, right? Home projects go in, in here. Um, I'll use it even for, um, <sighs> right? So I'll replace the furnace filter, has a scheduled, so it's scheduled um, and recurring. Uh, and I'll use that even for home projects. I'll uh, even price something out. I'll get all the pricing for Home Depot and add it all up, and then we can come up with a budget for it. Right? Car projects, tech projects. So there's my own stuff. I right, pinch a lot for YouTube, actual budget app. Uh, Obsolete Me too. I can't find controller software. Uh, so there's something on GitHub for this, uh, the Obsolete Me too, which is what I use as my webcam. Talked about that in my desk video. All right, Emacs stuff, lots of different stuff. So that's what I use for personal. Now, the other one I use now, if I hit spa er, uh, yeah, space FR, uh, is Proud City. This is my main work one. I'm only going to show you this, right? You can see here we have 2686. Uh, so that corresponds to the GitHub issue. Uh, that's just our main. So we have a few other ones. We have a private one, and that usually gets PD uh, for Proud City Developer. Um, and then we have, I'm not going to show you anything else really, but for SA Intra, for internet, it gets SA, and then I put it in the task number or the issue number. That's an actual link, so I can copy that link and take it out into my browser of choice and really dig into it. So here I'd use to take notes, right? So I've scheduled PHP 8.2 and support at 20, end of 2026. So I need to deal with that like in September, what I have this on. I have this actually for February 2nd, so I can plan it. Um, and I'll plan it uh, you know, into the year at some point where I upgrade um, taxonomy for services. This is when we took meetings, right? And I even have meeting notes oh, right here. Now, one thing I do mostly with this is have a custom view that shows me active or meeting. So I can hit space O capital A, and you can see under X, I have custom views and I can say to do only, all right, so only to do's that are tagged active or for the meeting. And so this lets me find all of my, uh, you can see right here, this is tagged active right at the end, tag active, tag active. So I can bring it up in a meeting and I can actually make sure I go through that. And so if we do agenda view, that was just AA, that was not for, that was not my special view, but again, because I just want to make sure that I don't put in uh, private customer stuff. Um, you can see I have agenda view and it would show me and if I wanted to say wax road chain Friday, uh, I just did that last Friday or just MTD done. And oh, control W over 
and I can refresh. Um, right. And so that's done. I already did that, say, last week because I was doing a bunch of, I did 500K last week on my gra on my road bike inside. Rack's gravel chain uh, is not applicable right now. Say, so, oh, I can just toggle to do, right? How to do that? Uh, just go T, done. And control W down will take me to this. Control W, Q will quit it. So I don't need to wax my gravel chain so I'm not riding outside right now. So I don't need to worry about that. Uh, and for Monday, I need to schedule uh, update of WordPress for work. So that's a work thing. Um, the other thing I use, if I go Control W and quit to quit that window, is my inbox. So now, um, I really only use this for when I'm on my phone. So there is Bjorg, which I have on my phone. Uh, it's right beside me. Uh, and Mobius, uh, which does sync, because I sync with sync thing. Um, and so when I'm adding stuff, I really just add stuff to the inbox and I deal with it later. So for this, I would hit refile. I don't do that enough. Refile. So I can do or so space MSR. You can see it's highlighted there, space MSR. And this is uh, spicy ginger beer. So this is a personal, oh, what is this? Personal miss. So this is going to put that right under the personal and miscellaneous heading. Uh, and this is a fresh terminal editor. I might do a video on that. Uh, so I'm going to hit space MSR again, and this would be writing, writing for Curtis McHale. So now I've done that and I've filed those. Save inbox. That's what I do with that. Uh, personal we've shown. PN so this is, uh, is another file I use. That's for Performance North because I'm on the board there. I'm not going to show you that file because I don't think there's anything in it. And it's possibly private stuff for the dance board as well. Now we go to books. It's another one. I have a bad habit of buying books that I own already or ordering books, getting books from the library because I wanted it and they had it and then looking at, uh, and then suddenly realizing it's coming from Books & Co <laughs> or something like that. So uh, you can see I've got some books here. I know what I've, uh, what's on order, right? Isle, The Ember Dark, We're Coming For You in Your Rotten System, The Craft of Research, draft number four. I got that so I can delete it. Uh, I'm not sure if I have The Craft of Research yet. I'd have to look that up. Right, I know it's available. Uh, what's on hold? I actually do have some on hold stuff, but I haven't tracked it right now. It's coming from the Bookman, so this is a place in Chilliwack, uh, and I can put in like long term stuff there. Uh, nothing on Kobo right now, and purchase. I want to purchase that book from Kobo. Now, my last main file is my later file. So, I said recently that read later is a little bit, little bit of garbage because you get a lot of stuff and you don't end up doing a lot with it. Uh, this is my read later file. Um, with this, what I'm going to plan to do uh, is if I open this, all right, if I open this file, uh, you know, open this link in a tab, I'm just going to delete it. That's the plan for next year, an explanation, uh, right? So every Saturday, I write uh, the Three Threads newsletter, or just honestly, it's just whatever I'm interested in. It started off as Three Threads, and I haven't renamed it. Um, and I need to open this. If I open it and put it in a tab, I need to delete it. And I need to just not save it again yeah, if I've opened it because I'm just not going to get to it. Uh, watch, right, homeless.files with Nix wrappers. Theoretically, uh, I could send this Nix video off to uh, like a further project, right? I could say, oh, space at MSR. Do I have a Nix? I don't have a Nix heading. Um, so that would be an inter more interesting one, though, to have like a Nix heading because I want to learn Nix. I use Home Manager now, Fedora, uh, whatever, Fedora, most recent. And I use Home Manager to manage my home files. So now after that, um, what I do uh, is I have a couple notebooks. After that, I have a reading notebook where I keep my reading notes. I usually, during work, have this sort of a bullet journal system. This is a, is this, yeah, it's an official bullet journal and I'll write some notes and I'll do some journaling in it. Um, and you know, if I'm in a meeting, I might write down, hey, I need to do this or write down some task numbers. Uh, even as I look at my Proud City task list, I often write down the issue number in there because it's a quick reference for me to look down and be like, oh, I was on issue, whatever, right? Our GitHub um, or our branching protocol, we would normally create a new branch off master with issue slash whatever the issue number is. And that way I can just look down and see it when I'm trying to merge or do something else to do our builds. Now the final notebook I carry is I carry a pocket notebook. I don't have it on me because I'm in my comfy pants this morning. I haven't really left the house to put on real pants. Um, so with that, I would write down, say, a grocery list, right? I'd write down uh, what chores I got to do for the day, just 
and I often, even with the grocery list, I don't end up going back to refer to it unless, unless it's like 10 things. Cause you know, the two or three things is fine, but taking the chance to write it down um, and talk about it with my wife usually, cause you know, we're talking about what needs to get picked up, milk, eggs, you know, some of the staples. Um, that's a good thing. And then if I'm writing, you know, notes on the house project, I need, um, what I, did, I trimmed out some cabinets cause they did not close or they closed improperly and would flex and break off the hinges. Uh, so I cut some wood for that and I took those measurements and then I went outside with the measurements and measured them all, cut everything, came back inside with it. Um, so I also carried that as my notebook. And finally, the big, big productivity thing uh, is Hyperland. So you're on my lowest screen right now, uh, but I can hit Super 7 and you can see what music I'm listening to, Super 6. Uh, up on my main screen and uh, up here, I have, again, multiple monitors and I can push everything around by holding basically super. And then I use C, uh, H, T, and N, which is basically like WASD style keys on my right hand. So that looks like what is, I guess, if you're on QWERTY, it'd be I, J, K, and L. And between super, super shift, super control, super alt, I can like resize on my windows, push everything around. Uh, you know, I'm gonna show you this, we'll go up, right? You can see that, the, oh. I'll bring it on, no overlay. So you can see there's no focus on this window right now. You can see the pink highlight. And if I wanted to bring uh, my Obsidian window, which is my notes down there, I hit Super 6, because I'm on Super 6. And you can see it, right? I can push it to Super 7, Super 7, or I can do Shift Super 4, which is normally where I have it, and it's pushed it back up there. Um, that's just a basic uh, showing of what I do with it. I know a few people have asked about my uh, setup so they can see it later and see how I move things around. And for that, I'll have to set up a camera over my shoulder so you can kind of see what's going on as I do it. Um, but that's really my productivity system. I use Emacs uh, for a lot of stuff now, I use some notebooks, and then Hyperland um, has just kept me on my keyboard more, made it easier to move everything around. Uh, so yeah, I really, really like that. That's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff, or become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. If you want to join book club, you can go to curtismichael.ca slash book club. One word, and you, we write uh, about a book and read a book together every month. Have an awesome day.